hi everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to be doing a fall inspired makeup look and i am very happy with the way that this turned out i mean this is like fall all over my eyes i just love this i wish i had somewhere to go so this is what i came up with and i really hope that you guys enjoy this if you would like to see how i got this makeup look and would like to follow along with me and possibly recreate this please keep watching and we will get right into the video usually for my eye base i use my mac pro longwear concealer just because i always pretty much used it or the mac paint pot and i feel like it works the best for me okay so first i'm going to take a red shade it can be honestly any red shade this is just what i have and i gotta work with what i have and we are going to begin to just pack it on so i mean i have so many different techniques of doing my makeup and this is when i want something to really really be bold and stand out so when doing this technique you just want to keep patting it on until you get the most out of the pigmentation so let's just keep building it up and following the eye socket Now for the second color, I'm going to add an orange. I'm going to be using this shade mixed in with this one. Now, flipping the brush over, I'm going to take a little bit of the yellow and just overlap it. I'm going to apply this color very precise into the socket of my eye just to help with that depth um, of when I create my cut crease. And that shade is called Pink Gear. So we're going to bring it all the way in. Now we're going to go back with the smaller blending brush, which is the MAC 217, and I'm going to just blend everything out again. As you can see, it's now looking a lot more blended. Okay, so I went ahead and almost finished one eye. 
And now we're going to move on to this side. So I'm going to cut the crease with my concealer from the balm. So you want to place your elbow or your arm on a flat surface because it is super hard to do a cut crease if you're not um, if your hand is not stable so you want to have something that you can lean against Then you can go back with your pencil brush, which was this one that I used to pack on the color. So I'm going to go in with this and just pretty much, um, pretty much sharpen up that uh, cut crease. Okay, so now we're going to begin working with the same colors now going on the lid from outer from outer corner to inner corner so in the same color patterns so as I did the darkest shade from the Jackie Aina palette then the red then the orange and then the yellow so I'm going to take pink here And I'm going to apply it to the outer corner of the eye. Really concentrate it. And as you can see, I'm dragging it inwards and tap. Moving on to the next color, which was a red the red that I'm going to be using then I'm using that orange right next to it it looks a bit darker on camera but I promise you it is much more orange in person and that yellow yellow so we're going to go in that particular order right next to that pinkier shade from Jackie Aina palette until I get the intensity that I want okay so I definitely needed to switch brushes because that one was just not doing the job of packing it on Again, right next to the red in order. What I will do is just go back and forth at the end a little bit um, without too much pressure. And that way it just blends into one another. And if I'm looking this way, is because I am looking at a much mag more magnified mirror. That way I see what I'm doing exactly. And now going back and forth with that blending brush that didn't work to pack on the color, but it does an amazing job at uh, blending the colors into each other. So now let's do the yellow. So now we're doing the yellow. I'm going to do Soleil from the Jackie Aina palette 
to the very inner corner, I'm going to apply this one right here. So, Soleil and Trust Issues. So yeah, and this one just brings everything back to life. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the bottom lash line. And for the bottom lash line, I'm going to apply the orange and the red and that one Jackie Aina shade from the Anastasia and Jackie Aina palette. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to bronzer and blush and highlight and the lips. I'm going to be using the Hula by Benefit bronzer. Alright, so for my blushes, I'm going to be using... I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Kit, which I have not used in a very long time. So I'm going to take this shade right here. So for my highlight, I'm going to be using one of my favorite highlighters, which is by Artist Couture, and this is Illuminati. Um, I know it's repackaged now but i i mean these will last you a lifetime i have about four three or four this is what it looks like i'm going to take this morphe highlighting brush so for my lips i think i want to use something very similar to my blouse and this is one of my favorite fall colors and it is called it is called ginger by kylie cosmetics As you can see, it's like a perfect match for my blouse. Alright, so this is the final makeup look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this fall inspired makeup tutorial i was just really in the mood for a fall makeup look so i really hope that you guys liked this makeup look and if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye